Well, hey everybody, I found a mushroom and I'm gonna check it out to see if it's uh, possibly edible or possibly toxic. Could be a green spored lapiota, which would be toxic and it would have green spores, or it could be a parasol mushroom, uh, in which case I should get some orange staining on the stem here. So give you a nice close up, give you an idea how this works. I haven't found too many of these. Being as it's growing out in a lawn like this, although there are some trees around, it's probably the green spored lepiota. If there were a little like, well, kind of a small scrubby kind of woods, it'd probably more likely be the edible parasol. But I can't tell, but I'm gonna take a look and see if there's any kind of stain in there. Doesn't look like it. Usually if it's the edible parasol, you rub the stem and it'll turn orange almost right away, kind of a dark orange color. It's probably too young. It hasn't opened yet for me to do a spore print. But just because it doesn't have that orange staining, I'm guessing it's probably the, the toxic version without even having to pick it. I could be wrong though because it's uh, been a while since I found any of these really. I'm going to cut the stem. Yeah, it's, it's hollow and pithy inside. The parasol, edible parasol would be hollow and uh, there wouldn't be no pith in there so I'm pretty sure this is the toxic green spored lepiota used to be referred to as chlorophyllum molybdites but I think that Latin name has changed now with all the reclassifications of uh, plants and stuff due to uh, DNA testing uh, still no orange staining. I pop that open. The gills are just white. Both mushrooms would have white gills and look fairly similar on the outside. If I hold it in the sunlight, I really don't see any green or anything to let me know it may be a green spored lepiota. But also, if I see this little ring, how it attaches to the, uh, the stem here, this little ring. See the underside, it's an unopened button mushroom. If we pop that off, it, it just comes off and it stays on the mushroom itself. Although there is a little definition to that ring when I pull it off. On the edible parasol, again if I remember correctly, <laughs> uh, this ring would be a little more persistent, meaning it would want to stay on there better. I'm not seeing that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the toxic green spored lepiota. A lot of times if you hold them in the sunlight, even when they're young, you can kind of get an idea of what color the spore print might be. It almost wants to show a little green, but it's a little too young yet to tell. But that's that. Just kind of did this video just to give people an idea of how the process of mushroom identification goes. Especially if you have two similar mushrooms that could be uh, confused. Even where I cut the stem, there's no orange. If there were an edible parasol, I would see orange where I cut it and uh, orange where I scraped it. And I'm not at all. Uh, 
that's all right. This mushroom will... I know people are going to be like, oh, you killed the mushroom, but this is just the fruit of the mushroom. The actual organism is underground. It's like a, a root-like structure. So it obviously won't get a chance to spore out, but um, the mushroom itself will stay growing in the ground. All right, well, that's it. Uh, green Sport Lepiota, I believe. I'm almost 100% certain. Even though I know quite a bit about mushrooms, I haven't found this mushroom in a while. So if I were, if I found a bunch of them and I were thinking about eating it, I would, uh, even if I found the right characteristics, I'd go back to the ID books or go online and look at the identification for the two species in question and just refresh my memory and make sure I got the right thing before I ate them. Anyway, that's it. It's out on a nice uh, almost fall day in northern Michigan. Thanks for watching.